Routine maintenance of the flashing installed on your Etni or Live Bottom should not be required under normal working conditions. However, if you should find the need to remove and replace flashing, this video will describe the steps necessary to do so. The Live Bottom flashing is held securely in place by a system of flashing screws on the inside bin, flashing support plates, and clamping bolts and nuts. The following is the order prescribed in removing the flashing from the live bottom. First, remove the flashing screw on the inside bin wall with a T45 torque head driver. Do this for all flashing screws on the inside bin wall. Then, release the flashing support plate by loosening the 3 8 inch clamping bolts and sliding the support plate back. Slide the flashing out from the front of the unit. Verify that the flashing support plates are pulled out to make room for the flashing and the area is clean and free of debris between the bin wall and the support plates. Slide the flashing in from the front of the unit all the way to the rear. Repeat until all flashing is installed. With the conveyor belt in place, adjust the flashing so that it just lays on the belt. Use the flashing adjustment tool inserted in the flashing support plates to push the flashing flush to the bin wall. Tighten the clamping bolts to secure the flashing support plates against the flashing. With the plastic flashing in the desired position, and after verifying that the belt moves freely, Drill 5 16 inch pilot holes through the plastic flashing. Tighten the flashing screws with the T45 torque head driver, being careful not to strip the threads. <laughs> 